The last time that I was at my home in Germany was August 2019, so that's almost three years ago. But today I'm going to return home, return to Germany, but only for a short two to three weeks holiday before I will actually come back to Malaysia. East Malaysia is waiting for me. But yeah, feel free to join me on the journey back to Germany today. Excuse me, where can I find Singapore airline? H. 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 Yeah, it's gonna be a long traveling day for me. I'm having three flights today. Not really looking forward to that. The total traveling time for me will be around 22 hours. And the first flight is to Singapore. Good morning, Hello. Sir. So you go to? I'm actually going to Germany, but it's all with Singapore Airlines. Can't see about me. I know so your, I have de your departure time. 11.10. Uh, 11.10, okay. You can proceed this one here. This one here? Yeah. I'm actually a little bit worried if my bag will uh, arrive in Germany because you have three flights and the connection time from the second to the third flight is less than an hour. So I'm not sure if they will be able to really transport my bag. So let's see if by the end of the traveling day I'm still gonna have my bag today. I'm flying all the way to Germany but I have to check in everything here, right? So I will see this bag again in Bremen. Yeah, I see the priority badge, makes me feel more safe that the bag actually will arrive in Bremen. Check-in completed, I'm having three tickets now for three flights. I think it's just the longest journey I ever had. I remember one long journey that I took years ago when I flew back from Australia to Germany. I think that were even four flights in a day. Let me know in the comment section, what is the longest journey that you ever took on the plane? How many flights a day? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, now we have to leave Malaysia. Immigration is over there. But actually I feel okay. It doesn't feel sad to leave because I know I will be back here in two to three weeks. Hello. The train to gate number C? Yes. Yeah. Go oh. down by bus. I go down by bus. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Apa kaba. Come away. <laughs> Can you open your mask? Ah, yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. Yeah, how do I feel returning home after three years? Do I miss Germany? I get this question actually a lot in the comment section. And the uh, thing is I don't really miss Germany it feels weird to fly to Germany for like a holiday now and then come back to Southeast Asia because yeah Southeast Asia feels kind of like home for me now it's weird to say that but after almost three years here um, that's the case and yeah of course I'm looking forward to uh, see my family see my friends back in Germany but yeah after two three weeks uh, I think I will miss Southeast Asia so I will return here continue the journey on the YouTube channel as well uh, you know it's the goal to visit every country in Southeast Asia in the next years and um, yeah the first step in a few weeks will be East Malaysia where I haven't been to yet all right the first flight which is going to be the easy one of the day still early in the morning so i'm not tired yet and it's just one hour to singapore i think the third flight later today will be the really challenging one yes, sir. hello okay, welcome board. 61 thank you the other side hello <laughs> surprised that the plane is so big with three rows three seats uh, in each row just one hour flight to Singapore. This is the size of a plane I expect for the second flight. Excuse me, do we have drinks or something on this Yes, we will have some coffee, tea and some coffee. Oh, perfect, so, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't have breakfast actually. It's now 11 in the morning. I'm uh, getting hungry and feeling the need for coffee. Is there any apple juice or coffee or tea? Uh, coffee, please. Can I also get a water, please? Thank you. I have to say, the bigger the airplane is, the less you notice the flight. Super smooth. It's been a pleasure serving you on this flight. Thank you for flying Singapore Airlines. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right, we have made it to Singapore. We have now two hours time here until uh, yeah, the big flight starts, the 12 hour flight to Frankfurt. So let's see if we can maybe find some, some breakfast here. I haven't had any food today yet. Oh, so many flights. Nice to see the world coming back to normal slowly. Frankfurt gate A10. We have A15 here. A10 should be over there. 
But yeah, before we continue, I would like to say thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. With the help of a VPN service, you can virtually change the location of your laptop or your phone to basically anywhere in the world. And as a traveler or a tourist, that can be extremely helpful because some websites or apps that you use at home may not be available in the country you're traveling to. For example, a few weeks ago, I was in Sri Lanka and there I could not access my favorite music app, which is YouTube Music. So in order to use it, I had to switch my location back to Germany and then I was able to access my YouTube music library. Another example is Netflix. The movies I could find on the Malaysian or on the Sri Lankan version of Netflix are totally different than the movies you can find on the American or the German version of Netflix. So in order to use all the different Netflix libraries from around the world, change the location of your phone or your laptop with Surfshark VPN and then you can access them all. Another thing why I like to use a VPN service is it helps to protect your data by encrypting it. When you are traveling a lot, you're using a lot of public Wi-Fi's or hotel Wi-Fi's and many times I am not sure how safe they are so I feel way more secure about my data especially when doing stuff like online banking when I'm connected to a VPN service. And yeah the VPN service that I am using is Surfshark VPN and if you would like to check it out as well you can click the link in my description enter the promo code Ken and you get 83% off plus three extra months for free and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can test it out without any risk Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And now let's see if we can find some food here. All right, we have the right gate here to Frankfurt, departing at 1.55. So that's one and a half hours. And the gate actually opens already in, oh, 20 minutes. But uh, okay, actually I'm pretty, pretty sure there will be food on the flight, probably two or even three times. And I really like the airport here in Singapore. It's one of the coolest airports in the world. I think it's my third time here now. And I'm also actually thinking about visiting Singapore later this year. All right, to be honest, I don't really feel the food options that are available here around the gate. So there's only like a cafe with some sandwiches, a noodle shop. Hmm, not really ideal now, so I think I'm actually going to wait, but I definitely feel the coffee kicking in now, which is great. Hello. I have a question. How many meals will be on the flight? Meals. One meal. Sorry again? How many meals? How many meals? I'm not too sure. Maybe I check for you later. One or two? Probably. Uh, about one, two. Uh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, a paper from the German Ministry of Health. Probably some entry rules. Yeah, I can enter Germany without quarantine. Um, even though in Germany I am not considered vaccinated because my first two doses are Sinopharm, which is not recognized in Germany. And then my, my booster was Pfizer. So I'm not fully vaccinated uh, in Germany, but I will get another Pfizer shot uh, this week actually. So how do I prepare for a long flight like this? Actually nothing uh, special, just a usual flight. And because the flight is actually during the day, uh, probably won't be tired at all during the flight, but I think once we arrived I will be really tired because that's gonna be like night time for me then and then I have the third flight and I'm really hoping that my bag is inside the airplane now Really scared of losing the bag today, <laughs> which happened to me before when I was returning from the USA to Germany many years ago They lost my bag. Okay time to board flight number two out of three today Thank you, this makes sense you right. Okay, thank you yeah, luckily, I asked for an exit seat when I checked in in Kuala Lumpur, which is way more comfortable for me, being 1 meter 90 tall in these uh, long flights. Hello, I think this is mine. J? 47? J? Yes. This one, you right? Okay. So, what are we having here is a care kit, probably a mask inside and some hand sanitizer. We have uh, headphones, pillow, blanket. Oh, but what I really love here now is uh, the space that I have here. Perfect for me. If you check into these flights, it's always worth asking if you can sit at an exit seat. Usually, if you check in early at least, it's no problem. Okay, what I realize now is the problem is that I'm so far away from the wall, so I can't really put my head here to sleep, you know. But uh, okay, because yeah, the flight is during the day, I actually don't need to sleep, I think. So it's like halfway through. It's actually pretty easy. Not that tired yet. And, uh, 
it's a quiet flight, no problem so far. I can watch uh, some videos I downloaded before. Uh, we have a huge selection of videos as well here on the screen. Thank you very much, bye bye. And welcome to Germany. Well, that was a long flight and I have two problems now. The first problem, for me, the local time is 3 a.m. So I start to get really tired. The local time is 9 p.m. But um, yeah, for me, it's obviously a few hours later and I couldn't sleep at all during the flight. It's usually the case I can't sleep on airplanes. And the second problem is now that my connection flight to Bremen is in less than one hour. And this is Germany's biggest airport, so who knows where the next gate is. 9.50 to Bremen gate A8. Excuse me, where are the connection flights? To where? Uh, Bremen? Yes, this way. This way? Yes. Thank you. Why am I speaking English? I'm in Germany. I can speak German again, right? Oh, feels weird. For once, I don't need a visa to enter a country. Oh, we have automatic border controls here. If you have a European passport. All right, and I'm back in Germany. And I have to say, somehow it feels weird. Weird to be back in Germany. Alright, this was the toughest security check I ever had. They even removed my shoes and touched my feet. I never had that before, so that took a while now. But I have 20, no, 10 minutes until boarding starts. And oh, I'm just thinking about my back. Will my back also make it to the final flight? We're gonna see later in Bremen. And yeah, by the way, Bremen, where we are flying to now, is in North Germany. And that is like an hour away from uh, my home village. Oh, can I use the stairs? Oh, somehow all this rushing keeps me awake. Although it's here yeah, after 3 a.m. for me. Oh my god, that looks like a long haul to walk. Okay. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm feeling a little bit weird. Being back in Germany after almost three years. Whew. I think I will feel really relieved when I'm in Bremen actually. By the way, you can let me know already in the comment section what type of videos would you like to see from Germany. I'm thinking about making two or three videos in the two or three weeks that I am here. So let me know in the comment section what would be interesting. Maybe my village, maybe some German food, maybe trying to find Asian food in Germany. Let me know. I think I made it. It's not nicht offen. Nach Bremen? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the gate is not even open, so I made it in time. Whew, feel relief now. Oh my god, it is cold here. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, final flight of the day, last leg of the journey, one hour flying time. Whew, let's go. Oh, oh damn, this is way smaller than the flight before. If you open an overhead compartment, please make sure that no items can fall out. And welcome to Bremen. Wow, I have to say it feels unreal to be back here. Wow. Crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really tired now. The local time in Malaysia where I started is 5.15 a.m. I woke up at around 7, so that's around 22 hours being awake already. But I'm also excited. My mom and her husband will pick me up. First time seeing my mom after three years. Crazy. Let's see if my bag made it. You remember my bag at the check-in in Kuala Lumpur? All right, cool, yeah guys, it's really crazy to be here. As soon as I walk through the door over there, it's gonna be like walking into, into the past, into a different world. When I left Germany three years ago, my life was completely different as it is now. I didn't have a YouTube channel back then. My first video was released when I was in Bangkok. And now I'm returning with a YouTube channel that has become my business, has become my job. Almost 100,000 people are subscribed to the channel, thanks to every single one of you guys. And I'm really, really happy and grateful for the, for the past years. 
But um, yeah, Whew. crazy. I'm getting a little bit emotional now. <laughs> All right, please, please be here. I really don't need the hassle of having a lost bag now. No way, the bag made it. Oh. oh my god, I'm very relieved now. The bag is here. But actually, let me one thing. If they took out the tea that I brought from Malaysia, I brought some uh, tea tadik. Ah, yes, it is. I have like 20 of these little packages here. Tea tadik from Malaysia. Going to introduce that to my family. All right, and let's go through the final door and see if we can find my mom who's going to pick me up together with her husband. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mom. And the uh, your uh, husband. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am awake now for 22 hours. Yeah, that's a long time. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm even shaking because I'm so. You're shaking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so great to have you back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Big jacket, much needed for the temperatures here in northern Germany now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, almost three years. <laughs> the last time we saw was at the airport in Düsseldorf. Was it Düsseldorf? When I flew to uh, flew to uh, Bangkok. Oh my God, it's cold here. Oh, I'm having short pants. I'm not really a. Uh, dressed for the temperatures in Germany. <laughs> yeah, we have around 10 degrees here, I think. 12. 12. Oh, okay. So that's less than half of what I'm used to. Yeah. Oh, we still have the same red car. Yes. You can sit in the front, I'm going in the back. Okay. But okay, thanks for joining the journey. And if you haven't seen the previous video from Malaysia, check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.